Hello, welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar. You're a bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor of the Tenkar's Tavern blog, and it was just brought to my attention. This is something apparently pretty new. I see that there's like an article on it at the RPG Pub, and uh, Rob Conley brought it to my attention when he uh, texted our little group a screenshot of one of his products, but I think it I'm going to delve into this. I'm going to touch on this one. Let's go back to basics. Basic D&D. So, um, and by the way, by the way, we're using Restream. So, look, it actually allows me to put a much larger image on the screen for this stuff. Pretty cool. Um, So, listen, I, I have this from... From before the purge, okay? Remember the purge at OBS when uh, Watsi removed all their PDFs? I owned the previous, so when they came back, I had, I had bought it before the purge. When they brought their products back, it was back in my library. So that's why it says you own this channel, uh, title. So let's scroll down. Some very interesting, great history from Apple Klein on uh, the D&D Basic Book. I recommend that you, if you have the time, read all the watch the entries. Yes, yes, the infamous uh, disclaimer. But that's not the point today. Oh, my God. Here's the point. Let's scroll down. Rule system. Okay. SBDN. Author Tom Moldvay. So now we know that Tom wrote this back in... 1977. Um, publisher stock number, artist, Jeff T. Uh, David LaForce, Diesel, Errol Lotus, James Rostoff, Bill Wilmington. Great, great assortment. Last updated, September 20th, 2013. Creation method. Catch this one, folks. Most likely human made. Now, if you're going to bother putting up an AI disclaimer one way or the other, you should you shouldn't be saying it's most likely human made when it was done in nineteen man nineteen seventy seven flargen bargain frickin fracken. This book that we're looking at on the screen. All right, basic D and D is nearly fifty years old, yet most likely human made. This is as bad as the disclaimer, if not worse. Actually, you know what? It is worse because the disclaimer um, put people, creatives that worked on D and D and other TSR era. Sorry, even early Watsi era products under a lighter suspicion this puts every product on drive through under a light of suspicion Mo- you want black marsh from rob conley most likely human made you want basic dnd written by tom moldvay most likely human made hell i'm most likely human made if you, you know, they would be better off not addressing that aspect or addressing stuff that it knows this was made with AI and label it as such to say things were most, what are you going to say? This was most likely made by AI. And how are they judging this? I didn't, maybe there's an email on this. I didn't see it. But I'd like to know how they are judging. What is and isn't human-made? What's made by AI? How do they detect that? Well, we ran it through a a website, and it said it's most likely made by a human, but it can't tell with 100% certainty. This is going to be used for the people who already suspect AI is running everything. This is going to be used by people who go, Oh, yeah, most likely human-made, so it's just good AI. All right, Tom. 
You were good AI back in the day. This is just not well thought out. I understand. I can understand where they're coming from. Drive through is trying to get ahead of the curve. They're trying to not be watchy. Nobody wants to be watchy when it comes to this shit, when it comes to AI. But watchy will be the first ones to tell you. We don't allow AI, but we kind of use AI. And AI and, and Wizards of the Coast is its own world. But I'm sure, oh, well, actually, you know what? Come to think of it, why don't I just put in continual light? Why didn't I even think of that beforehand? So, continual light. Now, I know the work that was done on this. Look at look at this. Okay, let's see. Oh, most likely human made. So it's good to know the work that I wrote with Jane Spahn and Zach Laser. It's great knowing that the work that I wrote was most likely human made. <sighs> Can't make this shit. Uh, if you wanted to. And God knows I don't want to. I wouldn't want to make this up. If you are a publisher on DriveThru, let them know. This is bull. Yes, declare AI when AI is involved in the process. I totally agree. And how, how do you detect it? Did somebody go through and run continual light? through uh, uh, an AI detector, or did they go, oh, well, it's seven years old. <clears throat> it, must be, it must be legit. Well, when you say must be, most likely legit. Most likely Tom Mulvey wrote what he wrote, and it was an AI coming back in the day. But this is the world of gaming now, folks. Chris Cox told you AI is here to stay. And uh, now you see it. Folks, on that note, there's a link on the bottom of the screen. Tank horse there's tavern.games slash cubicle seven. It's an affiliate link. It'll take you to Humble Bundle. That one actually has Warhammer 40K RPG material. Two rule sets. I just If you enjoy the fiction, it's a great source material. If you enjoy the RPG, it's great source material. Uh, tonight, 8 p.m., Matt Finch, Mosey, uh, Susan, Susie Mosby, uh, our special guest, all things Swords and Wizardry. There's a new Kickstarter. So that's the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Hopefully we'll see you there. So uh, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll the dice. Roll them well. You know, you know the thing. Like, subscribe, comment. You know the thing. All right, folks. <laughs>